Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 16. Today we'll be learning how to reason about arithmetic patterns using units of 0 and 1. We'll know that we're successful when we can multiply and divide by 0 and 1. Today you'll be learning some important new rules, so pay good attention to the rules as you learn them. How many groups do you see? One, two, three. Three groups. How many crayons are in each group? One, two, three, four. Four crayons in each group. Write a multiplication equation to match the picture. So there are three groups of four. We can say three times four equals twelve. We're going to skip count by fours three times. Are you ready? Four, eight, twelve. Yes, three times four equals twelve. How many groups do you see now? Hmm, we took away one group, so now there are only two groups. Let's write a multiplication equation to match the picture now. Two groups of four, or... 2 times 4 equals 8. We skip counted by 4 2 times. 4, 8. Yes, 2 times 4 equals 8. How many groups now? Do you notice the pattern? We're taking away one group each time, so now we're down to one group of 4. So the multiplication equation to match this picture would be 1 group of 4, or 1 times 4 equals 4. How many times do we have to skip count for this equation? 1 time, that's correct. So 4 times 1, or 1 times 4 equals 4. Let's use what we learned about using an unknown in an equation to solve for the product. Rewrite the equation, letting n equal the number of crayons. So the number of crayons is 4, so we can replace that 4 with the letter n. 1 times n equals n. So there's our rule. 1 times any number equals the number. 1 times 1 equals 1. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 3 equals 3, and so on. This time we're going to write the di related division equation to match the picture. So remember that in a division equation, the second number is the number of groups, and there's one group. The total number is the first number. So all the crayons you see, we see four crayons, one group, four divided by one equals four. Now let's write the division equation with an n in place of the number of crayons. So there are four crayons in all, so n divided by one equals four or n divided by 1 equals n. And that's our next rule. A number divided by 1 equals that number. So if it, there's only one crayon, we divide it by 1 time. 1 divided by 1 equals 1. If we have two crayons, and we divide it into one group, one group, 2 divided by 1 equals 2. If we have three crayons, and we divide it into one group, how many would be in each group? Three. Three divided by one equals three. Four divided by one equals four, and so on. How many groups do you see now? Three groups. How many crayons do you see in each group? 
uh, there are no crayons on each group, so that number would be zero. Let's write a multiplication equation to match the picture. So three times zero. Three times zero would be zero. Zero plus zero plus zero equals zero. Let's rewrite this equation, letting n equal the number of groups. So there are three groups, so we can say n times zero equals zero. Let's write a related division equation. Remember, the biggest number is how many crayons in all. There are zero crayons. n divided by zero equals zero. So here's our new rule n times 0 equals 0, and n divided by 0 equals 0. A number times 0 equals 0, and a number divided by 0 equals 0. Here's your redraw write question. You're going to read the question, draw a picture to help you solve the problem, and write the answer as a sentence. When you're finished, you can look in the description box below and see if you've got the correct answer. So pause the video right here and do your very best work. I'll see you in the next lesson.